Leo, welcome to your Sunday Shuffle. Let's see what's going on for you for this upcoming week. Show me Leo, please, in the upcoming week. Show me Leo, please, in the upcoming week. Show me Leo, please, in the upcoming week. What's going on? Show me Leo, please, in the upcoming week. Okay. Knight of Swords. Three of Pentacles, some sort of constructive effort here that we're taking action towards. Ace of Pentacles, well, possibly a brand new opportunity. The Hierophant, Page of Cups, beautiful. I got some beautiful uh, energy here. Some of it's very practical in nature, possibly concerning your 3D world, uh, specifically in regards to coin and or opportunity surrounding that. We are taking active action towards it, and it's looking like it happened relatively recently, and we're going to continue to, I believe, roll into that energy over the next week, and then, of course, next several weeks. But yeah, we have the Knight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Page of Cups, yeah? So that's beautiful. It's productive, and it's looking like we are committed to the production. Um, I like this. It has a certain flow. There's a certain snappiness around it. There is a certain level of busyness to it and a commitment to it all to make sure it all gets achieved. Well done. Uh, let's get cracking. Some of you, just in a rough translation, some of you might be starting a new gig, entrepreneurship, collaboration, um, but there's some sort of offer here being extended to collaborate, work together, possibly. Um, yeah, and it's looking like it could be advantageous to all parties. Let's take a look. Show me this Knight of Swords. Show me this Knight of Swords. Show me this Knight of Swords. It could have been an opportunity that came rushing in, honey. Who knows? Or it could be your energy. Let's make this happen. Show me that Knight of Swords, please. Show me that Knight of Swords. Yes, we are in the stretchy pants today, honey. Let me tell you. Thumbs up for stretchy pants. Okay, Knight of Cups. Yeah, two of wands. Oh, death. Okay. Okay. You got tired of waiting for something to come through. Yeah. Yeah. The energy's kind of like I'm tired of waiting for something to come through, to fall in my lap, to move in a particular direction. Let me take over. Emotionally, you got tired of waiting to take action on something. So it's like I'm going to stop waiting on this and take care of it myself, which is very you. That's very, that's very Leo energy, you know. And uh, I agree, there are times when you want to get something started off the ground and you hope to cooperate or work with other folks and they're like, yeah, 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 and it doesn't actually come through. And you can tell they're not excited for it or they didn't really mean it. Perhaps they were just agreeing or going along at the time, but it actually meant something real and sincere to you. So there's this thing of, I am disappointed, okay, that it's not coming through. And because it's not coming through, I'm going to go ahead and take action towards it, my darn self, okay? Let's get this, I, it's like I've waited long enough to make this come true and I'm tired of waiting all right this all happened it looks like relatively recently and that energy is going to continue to flow through it looks like sometimes the best opportunities you make are indeed the ones that you make right show me that three of pentacles please who we're we working with who we're we talking to who we're we trying to launch things with what's going on here the wheel of fortune ten of cups okay the Five of Swords, yeah, okay, I got it. Yeah, time has passed, and you could tell that somebody wasn't in line with it. They weren't on board with it. Okay, it's not as supportive as it was initially made out to be. That's unfortunate. Uh, I can kind of see why you stopped waiting and took things over. It's exactly what we just discussed. You could tell somebody wasn't as supportive as they initially said they were, and there was kind of a well, wait and it will come together type attitude, and you're like, nah, nah, bruh, it ain't happening that way. I know that's how you're presenting it. You said you're on board, but not really. You're saying you're supporting this mission and or goal. Not really. There is a marked lack of true emotional support. In other words, sincerity that they're believing in your energy or effort or cause. And uh, in that kind of digestion of that particular energy, you kind of understood the bottom line of this. And the bottom line is, is I'm going to have to do this myself. I was hoping you would cooperate. And it looks like it's within somebody in your immediate circle, family, friend, close proximity, they might have given you like talking out of their mouth at the time. Yeah, 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 Leo, totally I'm on board. I'm going to support you. I'm there. I'm, you know, you call me up. We'll do it. Fix it. Whatever. I'm there for you. But they didn't mean it. It was a lot of gesturing. <laughs> That's unfortunate because you, you actually meant it, meant it. And it means something to you. And like I said, you know, sometimes we want the help and cooperation of others. And in the absence of that, like I said, sometimes we just got to pick up the reins and do it our darn self. Now, what this is, I don't know. But you were really kind of banking initially on someone else's energy who was in very close and or approximation to you, i.e., again, family friend. Uh, and that didn't happen. That didn't happen. 
So it's looking like whatever it is you are building, you're building it off your own back. Whether or not you have someone else in there helping you, I don't know. That was the point. We kind of lost trust with this person. I mean, you, you would, wouldn't you? When somebody's like, yeah, yeah, totally, I'm on board, and then they they don't pony up the actual dough. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you're in this position of having to figure it out for yourself, and that's unfortunate. But there's a reason that happened the way that it did. I mean, if this person tried to so-called cooperate with you further down the line, and then their energy that was negative or not really on board to begin with, it's going to fray whatever work you had done. So in a way, they probably did you a favor. That way that work, whatever it is that you were able to construct with them, potentially, it would have ended up fraying. So at least you avoided that. So I know it's disappointing and uh, you kind of lost respect and or trust for that person who talked out of their mouth. Uh, I understand that's their consequence, not yours. You need to carry on with it. Okay. You need to, cause you're, you're telling me you're committed to this. It wasn't a half-assed concept to you. Um, you said you were on board. You said you supported me and that look at what you did, right? <laughs> I hear you, honey. I hear you. Ace of Pentacles. I, like, I ain't got time for that. Two of Cups. It means a lot to you. Four of Wands. King of Pentacles. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, goodness me. Look at you. Look at that gorgeous energy that you have. King of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Two of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. A little bit a uh, note on the personal side. Okay. Some of you are really trying to grow a relationship here. Now, what it is, I don't know. I don't automatically assume marriage when I see the Four of Wands, nor should you. It's typically an intimate relationship structure. So that could be anything from boyfriend, girlfriend to steady. We've been seeing each other for who knows how long. But the idea is you're both invested. I got two hearts in here in a beautiful relationship space that it looks very secure, very comfortable. And you're like, Ace of Pentacles, you either want this, okay? or you want to put more of your best qualities into it. Um, for some of you, yeah, it could be brand new. And we have a lot of hope and ideas attached to it about how it can be fulfilled to its highest potential. Um, and if that's true, if it's current, I mean, this is technically the current energies, okay? A little bit of past, the flow to into the current, and it's telling me, you know, this, whatever this is aside, there's something else here you for that, that looks really solid and lovely and properly supportive, but it's at the more intimate level, okay, outside the context of family and friends, and it seems to bring out some of the beautiful qualities in you, so I might go back to this, dig a little deeper, see if that's new or pre-existing, if that's pre-existing, and you continue to renew that contract, the Ace of Pentacles, and congratulations to you both, it's beautiful, it's supportive, it's resourceful, and for those of you, you just might begin to merge into this energy, again, it still has the connotation that Ace is new, and it can also be renew. Okay, so I'd like to know a little further if that's if that's brand new, you know, that way it's not just all work for you, right? <laughs> that would be fantastic. And now let's take out look here at uh, Mr. Hierophant. Show me that Hierophant, please. Show me that Hierophant. Show me that Hierophant. If it is something that is just beginning to build that well in terms of security, emotional, and uh, physical intimacy, and then it's going to be taken to the next level here. All right, let's take a look here, Mr. Mr. Hierophant. What's he up to? Justice, Chariot, Knight of Swords. There's that Knight of Swords, honey. Well, you're just busy. Well, you're just all over the place. Some of it is, again, more on the structural, professional side, okay? Um, I'm sorry, this person, it feels heavy like a family member. You know what I'm saying? It feels, and that could be anything, honey, where it's like, man, you agreed to help me move and I was banking on that and you, you, you didn't mean it. You didn't mean it and you left me hanging. It could be something as simple as that. Again, it's the idea of cooperation or collaboration. But on the personal side of home, you look very satisfied, very well to do, very comfortable, loved, okay? Um, and commitment, justice, chariot, knight of swords. And this, you seem to have 100% engines on. In other words, there's no confusion on the more intimate side. You're completely committed to whatever this is. Um, it's moving forward at a particular pace. It's strong pace, too. There seems to be no confusion at all in your step or direction of said step. So beautiful. And justice, all is fair and square. So if you're not in the vein of commitment yet, even at the legal level here with justice, you're headed in that direction with full intents and purpose. Okay. Intent and purpose, excuse me. What, you, you guys know what the heck I'm saying. Come on. Page of Cups, please. I like that. So we have a little bit of everything here for you today. And frankly, that's my favorite kind of tarot. I, I dislike it when the storyline is as much as I see that. 
<laughs> so it's ironic. I can get 50 minutes of one storyline, and it, it's kind of boring. So it's nice to touch on various aspects of people's lives. I like that. Show me that page of cups, please. Show me that page of cups. And it's like, but Christina, you're so good at explaining a storyline for 50 minutes. Yeah, but also a little boring. Yeah, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> Show me that page of cups, please. I like seeing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's like a nice little buffet for me, you know. All right, let's see that page of cups, the fool, nine of cups. Oh, honey, you look so good. You look so happy. At the personal level, I see you very much exploring that sense of self-interest, self-love. You seem to be opening wide up into the world, but in small, manageable ways. Those pages are not overburdened at all. Okay, that's lovely light exploration. So whatever this relationship is, it looks good on you. It looks really good on you. The way you react to it is beautiful. It's bountiful. And by that, I mean energetic, bountiful. Okay, King of Pentacles is here sitting pretty. Don't get me wrong. He's a resourceful guy. He's a practical guy, but he's looking upon the household with a great deal of contentment and pleasure. So as their senses, not only is this relationship in place, it's secure. He's all about that security. It feels secure. It feels intimate. And uh, it feels in alignment with me. We're totally on track or on board to full on commitment. And I feel really good about that. In fact, I have no intent whatsoever of screwing up that direction. This is where it's going. That's a lot of speed, honey. And it's like <laughs> speed to lock it down. <laughs> <laughs> and that's so you. And look at you go. Look at you glow. I love this. Look at how well you're reacting. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Nine of Cups. This is love of the self. You are feeling love for yourself the more you open up towards this. And you have such a strong sense of confidence about its direction. Uh, and the fool, you're just blasting wide open, honey. Look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. I love this. Look at you. I'm so happy. You're like, I know. I'm happy for me too. And you should be. You absolutely should be. I can't even remember the last time I saw something this solid for you. Yeah, this is some shaky stuff, and I'm going to... I would put good money that this is a family member thing where they failed to come through. It just feels that way. But that's me. Okay. You take it as it resonates. Yes, I drink on camera. I have to because I talk a lot. <laughs> we should know this. <laughs> I'm just a little bit of a nosy Nelly here. Is that an ongoing contract, or is it brand new? Is that a... Okay. It's brand new. Yay! You, you, this is good. This is an example of good tarot. When you ask spirit direct questions, you get a direct answer. I asked if this is a brand new offer and relationship energy, and they're like, yes. If you haven't met this person yet, you should be relatively soon. I would say it's within the vicinity of fall. I don't want to just say it's this week, okay? This kind of energy that's generating this much long-term activity at the energetic threshold, the way it's going at a particular pace, this seed seems to be planting soon for something down the line, there seems to be no issue about where it's going, the pace of it, and the commitment to it, none of it seems to be in question. And it's like, I am so glad I made this happen because this is my forever person, I know it. And trust me, they're having a similar reaction to you. <laughs> so that's wonderful. Oh, yay, Leo, yay, I'm so happy for you, honey. You know me, honey, I don't fake it. I just, I have, there are times when I have a poker face, but when it comes to reading and working with people's energy, I have no poker face, none whatsoever. I'm just a raw circuit of expression. <laughs> I really am, but in real life, you'd be like, I can't tell what she's thinking or feeling. That's right, that's because I don't want you to. But when it comes to on, I'm being on, this is me, this is really me. Dark Knight of the Soul, some of you have transgressed, or I'm sorry, not transgressed, but really managed to get through some very difficult days and nights that have led up to this fruition. And that meant having some really dark nights of the soul about relationships, ones that are good for you, ones that are not good for you, where it is that you are blessed, and knowing a blessing when you see it. The third eye, many of you have been, yeah, spirit, some of you had some beautiful, and this is the reward, by the way, when you do this scary stuff called dark nights of the soul, it's exquisitely uncomfortable, and it will leave you in nerve-wracking, soul-shaking tears, and also real tears. But when you do this, when you do your hard work, things become a lot clearer in terms of intuition and instinct. You gain clarity. You go through a spiritual awakening. And then you can start discerning real quick what's not so good for you and full of it. And this could be the best possible thing in the world for me. Why? Because we did our inner work. Okay, and it's not for the faints of heart. Most people, dark night of the soul, they think they know what it is. It's like, well, it means feeling a little sad. Oh, honey, no. 
Mm -mm. It leaves you questioning everything about yourself. And once you kind of rebuild from that particular shattering, if you will, it comes back stronger. But it takes time. Okay. Big happy changes, baby. Bingo, bango. You're beautiful. I hope this helps you put in the comments. Take care. Be well.